Welcome back to Hogtown Homestead. Like and subscribe if you feel so led. You're joining us today in Newton, Kansas. So hopefully you remember all the fencing videos that I posted a while back because today we're doing the same thing on my buddy's property here in Kansas, at Loppers. My buddy Micah right there has a chainsaw. So we're getting this ready for goats. We're gonna see how much we can get done today. Hopefully we can get this thing goat ready in the next couple of days. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the show. footage viewers we're going to show you how to replace a chainsaw chain if you have a chainsaw never ever ever throw that tool away also when it comes that it come like the chain comes separate in a box take a picture of that box so that you can remember when you get to the store which chain it is because there's like a thousand different kinds. I learned that the hard way. Yeah. Good advice, viewers. Oh my gosh, that's why it's smoking. Also, good advice, clean this out once in a while. So the way they make this, it can go on either way, upside down or right side up. Doesn't matter that it rolls the same way on this roller. So the, the teeth have a side that cuts and a side that doesn't, obviously. So just make sure that the, when you put it on, I put it on the bar first. I don't know if that's right or not. But I don't know why it wouldn't be right. It must be right. It's gotta be right. So when you look at it and you're getting ready to put it on, like I said, you can put it on, if you put it on like this, it, it comes over the top and down the back. So just make sure that you flip it the right direction to where the teeth are pointed away from you when you're holding it on the top. So then I just hook the chain on the, is this thing a sprocket? I don't know what this is. Sure. And then usually, the, um, I don't know if you saw when I took it off, but I undid this, this screw all the way, which moves these, this carriage, it moves it forward and back so you can tighten the chain. So when I took it off, I moved it all the way back because as you use a chain, it stretches. So a new chain isn't as long as the old chain. And then because it's so short, it matches up with that hole. And that's how you know you got it in the right place. That hole. Yeah. And then just use that screw to move that carriage forward. And you can see the gap in the chain getting smaller as I do that. And I just get it tight enough to, to hold the bar on there until I get the, the guard back on there. And this guard is made to hold things like weeds and dirt. Um, I think that's its main function. Yeah. <laughs> Anything that, you know. Can you... get caught in there should. Yeah. 
And you don't have to crank these down, just kind of mostly tight. And then like this chain, if I pull on it, it doesn't move at all. So that means I've got it a little too tight. If I just back it up a quarter turn, still too tight. So, yeah, so have it tight enough that this is moving, but you see how loose that gets, so just keep it. I'm gonna try it. It's pretty, pretty tight chain. A little too tight. Back it off a little bit. And then the first time I use it, it's gonna loosen up. Tighten that up now. Yeah. And there it is. Folks, I could not chainsaw and video at the same time because I left my GoPro at home. But that's where we're going. This is what it looks like after we cleared it so pretty substantial difference and it's gonna allow us man i keep on getting poked by something and so this is what was kept on hitting me it was stuck to the bottom of my shoe so every step i take i was getting stabbed it's probably just dry. everything out here in kansas is just angry look at these thorns i got so many scratches on me right now this is way worse than the than clearing our fence line in virginia way worse look at that thing that is a big thorn i don't know if you can see it. it's not focusing very well there it is. There it is. we're taking a break for a little bit from fencing because it's so hot yeah, it's so bright outside Gotta let my eyes adjust. But Bess wants to check for eggs in their chicken coop. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we are at the chicken yard. Oh, four eggs. Four eggs. Go ahead and get them. Oh, Birdie joined us too. All right, look at that. Four eggs. Good job, girls. Let's bring those inside. Okay, folks, we are back. We had to take a break during the heat of the day just to, it was really hot today. So to cool off, we did some stuff inside the house, or tried to do some stuff inside the house. Didn't quite get some electrical work done. Um, but now we're ready to get back rolling in the cool of the evening. So stay tuned. because the ground is so crumbly. I don't think it'll go anywhere. I'll show you what Mike is doing right now. I can get my pliers on it. I have broken wire using that method with the fencing pliers. Boom. 
It's as easy as that, folks. Yeah, I put it down there because I thought if I put it up here, it might slip off the top. Yeah. And I want it to, if it's going to drop, I just want it to be stopped by that. Makes sense. And like here? Uh, yeah. Wherever it bows out, just snug it up to the, to the T-post.
it is crooked as sin but you know what we have one line of fence done in a day so there's the corner and here's our fence now don't laugh because of how crooked it is because it really doesn't matter but we got it all fenced in this half anyways or this side of this little paddock hey the reason it's crooked viewers is because we were working with what we had which was this old warped horse panel you can see some of the warp down there but sometimes you just gotta make do with what you got and you know how much this costs my buddy Micah this is like 40 cents of baling wire the rest of the t-posts he had on hand and these horse panels came from a pre-existing fence that wasn't doing anything anyways so we were able to salvage this gate we are going to adjust it because there's about two feet or a foot from the ground to the bottom of the gate but we'll fix that somehow i don't know how but we will fix it and there you are that's going to do it for today's episode here on hogtown homestead once again like share and subscribe if you feel so led y'all enjoy the rest of your day we'll see you next time